started trick riding when I was about 15 years old. Um, I had grown up close to Calgary, and every year my dad took us to the Calgary Stampede, and I watched the trick riders there when I was a little girl, and I just knew that it was something that I had to try. And so I did, and I loved it, and I've been doing it ever since. I took lessons from a lady uh, named Jennifer Hay, uh, now Jennifer O'Neill. She was Roddy and Denny Hay's little sister, and she was one of the greatest trick riders I think there ever was. And she taught me a lot about um, trick riding, riding. She was my idol. So when I was, you know, just starting out 15, 16 years old, I um, bought my first little mare and I made $100 payments every month on her and, and I had a little gold two horse trailer with my old 72 Ford and, uh, you know, made my little payments on it and that's how I got my start and mom and dad were really good in instilling that if you want something you work hard for it and so I really, I owe a lot of where I'm at today to them. Our horses are so much what we do without a good trick riding horse. Um, basically, you cannot get anything done. Um, my horses mean everything to me, and um, I'm really lucky to have the ones that I do because they're awesome. Oh, my good horse. He makes me smile every time. His name is Rebel. He's eight years old, and he has got um, the biggest heart I've ever known in a horse. He is incredible gives it 110% every time and people will watch him and they just can't believe how hard he runs and every time he just he loves it he gets in the arena and his head goes up and he just is happy to be there so he's pretty cool he, um, I got him when he was uh, three years old from a lady in Saskatchewan that she was trying to make a barrel horse out of him and he wasn't I guess cooperating he had the speed but I think he was giving her some problems, um, bucking her off a little bit, and um, just, he has always been a little bit of a rebel. He's got a huge personality, and kind of, it's his way or the highway, usually, but uh, him and I just kind of clicked. We got along right away, and, and uh, he took, you know, I hauled him for quite a while, and took quite a while training him, but... I find that those ones that take a little bit extra to train them end up being the best ones. I don't even know where I'd start on that. I've got uh, a lot of wreck stories and that just kind of comes with the territory. More than anything, just lots of bumps and bruises along the way and, um, you know, there's there's been a few occasions where I've broken bones or... Um, I broke my shoulder practicing right before rodeo out in Cloverdale, BC, where I was trying a new trick, and um, I was coming around the corner, and somebody fl flung a jacket over the fence, and my horse just popped back, and uh, it sent me flying, and I broke my shoulder and separated it, and um, I had another really bad accident um, several years ago where I was just starting two new prospect trick riding horses and all I was doing was leading both of them to the trailer to saddle the dog came around the corner and spooked the one and uh, he started to pull back so I turned around uh, to see what happened and he uh, came up in the air and came right down on the side of my face and then kinda got hung up over top of me and um, I ended up uh, having reconstructive surgery on my face and I've got now about four plates in my face and had 130 stitches and um, you know separated my ribs and oh gosh it was it was quite a wreck but I was really lucky I had I came back right out of it my job was where I'd shut for seven weeks and I mm -hmm. did a show um, the weekend after my job was unwired so once again really lucky I came out of it really good Probably the first time that I ever rode into the alleyway of the Thomas and Mac for my first performance at the National Finals Rodeo. I remember I just kind of got goosebumps all over and I was like, it was hard to believe I was there, you know. And 
there's been lots of moments like that since um, this last December was my fourth time to perform at the NFR and every time it's like you know it's like a feeling like none other and it makes all those hours of hard work and all the bumps and bruises and everything that you overcome to get there then it's worthwhile